All right, I don't like to look at myself with a single mirror, let alone a whole circle of mirrors. All right, so this is an outfit that I would wear to work. It's comfortable. I feel like I look adequate in this outfit. Did we just hear the A word from yeah. you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, the word adequate. Adequate. Is that, that, is, that is just horrifying. Do, do you know what that means? Good enough. Good enough for what exactly, Kathy? Um, sneaking by without anybody taking notice one way or the other. Well, it is adequate for that. Nobody will <laughs> notice you in this, that is for sure. You know, you said to me the last time we were together, you said, you know, how would you feel if your daughters were in their pajamas? Mm. I've tried very hard to raise my girls not to think that their self-worth was tied into how they look. But at the same time, I do, I want them to be, you know, powerful women. And, and how do they do that if the only visual message you're giving them is the exact opposite? I do worry that this kind of outfit, uh, I don't feel like it speaks to any power or any self-sufficiency. Competency. And, yeah, it doesn't. And you're all of those things. And not in my wardrobe. Do you feel powerless? I mean, for the most part in my office, I think the people who work in my office know me well. But there are certain situations, especially like when I'm uh, volunteering for Dance Vision, I don't feel like people take me seriously. And I feel less confident because I know I look like crap. And it's hard for me to tell people what I need done because yeah. I don't feel like I have that authority. This is where style becomes a, a fantastic tool to help boost your confidence and help let other people know that you're the one in charge. I just, I've never seen myself anything other than this. So this is gonna be a rough one for me. I'm okay, then you're gonna have you. to have a little bit of faith here because what yeah. we see is great raw okay. material. Great raw material.